we are are struggling to get this 4000 watch hours it's not easy to get 4000 watch hours and it's 4000 watch hours in the next 365 days it's really really hard before getting subscribers was actually harder than getting watch hours i don't know why but now get subscribers is way easier you can literally get thousand subscribers within a week which i talk more on that in this video so make sure you check that video out i'm gonna leave a link in the description box so today we are talking about watch hours what do i mean by watch hours so watch hours is the actual thing that makes youtube pace you hi guys welcome back to the channel this is gabriela here and i'm talking about everything fashion content lifestyle and then how to get your bag here on youtube so if it sounds like something that you're into make sure you hit the subscribe button leave a comment like this video share this video to your friends and family and then let's get into today's video so i've realized and i've searched every single person here on youtube and i've actually gotten 4000 watch hours twice just within six months back to back right and I, I i know it's not easy but then i did it so i know you can also do it so here are things and tricks that i did to get this 4000 watch hours so the first thing i did was to post consistently i know yeah for the past two months i've not really been posting consistently but like from january to may i was posting literally every other day and it wasn't easy guys it's not easy i know people are working and then they are doing so much things i'm not i'm not saying that posting every other day is consistent somebody will even say that it's not consistent but then make sure you find a routine that helps you so being consistent can be once a week being consistent can be twice a week being consistent can be every single day which i've seen people do it so yeah being consistent is literally i know it's cliche everybody say it but being consistent is actually the best way to get you know your four thousand watch hours back okay so posting more videos posting shorts posting lies posting use of your youtube community and youtube have come up with so many in um, new series that they are going to be ruling out in the next few years in the next few months which i'm super excited about so the number one tip like i said is being consistent and posting more videos another one being on the same consistency is posting trending content now when i say trending content i'm not saying trending content on instagram or tiktok about somebody 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 no because you're gonna hit with a reuse content and we don't want to get hit with a reuse content now when you go on youtube your home page literally tells you the topics that are trending the topics that people are searching for all you have to do is to go to the search button search in your niche search in the things that you want to talk about so right now what i've seen trending is how to get a thousand subscribers fast and i've seen people this creator got thousand um 11k this creator got 100k this creator got almost um 200k and then a lot of creators have been getting so many views for this so i will encourage you to also make a video not copy but make a video about how you go um thousand subscribers or how you got uh, some sort of subscribers in the next few days or in the next few weeks so i think that's also that's what i mean when i say post consistent or post trending content i don't say go post somebody's content i'm saying search on youtube youtube literally tells you and vidiq is a very very good tool a uh, tool that you can use to know or predict some of the videos that are gonna come because they have amazing software that you can literally use to know the, some of the videos that are trending and then that are gonna be also trending in the next future they also give you videos idea youtube actually give you video ideas in your um youtube studio so make good use of that and yeah vidiq is a good tool this video is actually not sponsored so yeah if you have not downloaded the youtube uh, vidiq i would really really encourage you to download vidiq they have free version and they also have um a paid version which anyone that you want to choose it's up to you so the next step is making use of life yeah actually i've seen so many creators saying good things about going live i know it's strange i know it's hard you know i'm like okay what am i gonna talk about on life just the particular things that you do on youtube if you're a fashion creator you can talk about the next post that you're gonna talk about the next post you're gonna post you can do a q a you can talk about you know any single thing that is actually going on and yeah people talk about i've seen people doing it like for four hours i particularly cannot do that because of 
um, the part of the type of videos that i make but if you have the time make sure you're going live every now and then um maybe 45 minutes one hour 30 minutes just make good use of life and if you guys want me to make a video on how to go live definitely leave that in the comment section and i will definitely get back to you guys so yeah going live is a very very good tool that you can also use to get your watch hours fast people talk about it a lot of people are saying it helped them i know it's not really gonna be any big thing or just like a few days it takes time youtube is no um a marathon it's a spring so you have to take your time and then make sure you're having the patience for it if you don't have patience you can't get this youtube community this youtube street it's really hard but it pays up at the long run so the next thing is playlists okay playlists what do i mean by playlist so playlist is example right here this is playlist now if you don't know how to do playlists all you have to do is go to your youtube studio you can do this on mobile you can do this on desktop you go to your youtube uh, studio and then you click you see that they just say playlist there all you have to do is press on that playlist put all your videos into categories literally that's what playlist means putting all your videos into categories so if you have a fashion haul you put that one into a whole video like that is gonna be like okay fashion video into one simple thing you have how to grow on youtube one simple thing you you have whatever thing how to cook more money one single thing so just putting all your videos that you've made you know into a single playlist and streaming it now you can ask your friend to stream it for you you can stream it yourself that's where i also encourage you to have two youtube accounts or three youtube accounts any amount of account that you want to use on different phones or even on the same phone where you're gonna be using that next phone or that different youtube um channel or youtube account to be streaming your playlist by yourself or you can send it to your friends, send it to WhatsApp group, send it to Instagram, send it to Facebook, TikTok. Make good use of different social media. Now, when I say we are getting our 4,000 watch hours, that simply means that we're getting more views on our channel. And how are we going to get more views is by sending our videos into multiple platforms, sending our videos into our friends to stream for us. And the best way you can do it is by sending your playlist to your friends for them to stream it. If you have 20 minute videos of over 10, uh, five videos, that's like one hour. And if your friend watch through that whole uh, five videos with the whole 20 minutes, you've literally gotten five, uh, one hour of videos. And imagine, almost 100 people doing that imagine 10 people doing that imagine 20 people doing that for you you're gonna get so much watch hours at the end of the day so put your videos at the playlist and make sure you are asking your friends you can't do them by yourself a lone warrior african warrior you can't do them by yourself you have to ask people to help you you have to stream it on instagram there's so many groups on facebook that you can search uh, send your videos there and then yeah it doesn't matter if it's only one person that click on it when that one person click on it you're gonna get not only one view because it's playlist so the person is not only gonna watch one video the person is gonna watch more than one video even if it's two videos that's better than one so make sure you get good use of playlist all you have to do is follow this screen recording that i've already put here and then you're good to go so the next thing is posting long form video right so i know the cute little little tiktok mm, 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 mm. they are all good and everything people are lo loving you know long uh, short form content i'm not against them but we youtube girlies and we on the youtube street we actually love long form content i'm not saying everybody is gonna be watching your video all the way i don't know why but they are not gonna do it all we have to pray for is that they watch at least 10 percent of it they watch at least 50 percent of our long form video and when you post 10 minute video and somebody watch 50 percent of that means the person watch five minutes video a uh, five minute which you've already gotten five minutes watch hour already and that's a good thing but then whereas you have only five minute video and somebody watch 50 percent of it that's just even hoping that's only 2.5 a minute 
that's not good we don't want that so make sure you're posting long form content posting 10 to i will go between 7 to 10 minutes minimum and maximum you can go to one hour i've seen vlogs for more than two hours and yeah it depends people watch it i go through their comments and i see people saying oh we love this type of vlogs that are long form yeah you're gonna get your audience there's audience for everybody so don't say oh i don't know what to do i can't talk for 10 minutes my dear once you start pressing that record button you're gonna get the mouth you're gonna get the idea to talk that 10 minutes and make good use of software softwares like chat gtp chat gtp gives you so much things to talk about i've already mentioned feed iq i've already mentioned youtube studio they give you so much topics that you can talk about and also go to your influencers content um comments and just see the questions that people are asking them and make videos of it you can find so many questions people are asking for so many of them that the creators are not getting back to them and you have to be their savior and you come and then they soup in and you get the questions out to them and hopefully they find your content useful they find your channel useful so yeah make good use of long form and when i say long form i'm not saying going to put pieces and pieces together and making it long make it a very very useful valued long form we can all make long form it's not where you're gonna be like mm, 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 and 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 no it's boring we don't want that cut all the dead ends out and then make that long form we don't we are saying yeah we need that long form but then when it's a dead end that type of long form people are still not gonna watch we want to make a long form video that people are going to watch so yeah that's my point so point four is making good use of end screen so this is what end screen is actually gonna look like and you can actually make your own end screen on canva or CapCut. but then youtube actually also give you the option of choosing your own end screen at the end of you posting your youtube that's where i also encourage you to post your youtube through the desktop version if you don't have a laptop or you don't have a desktop go to chrome post a just put the youtubestudio.com inside and it's gonna give you a version of it if you put directly on youtube my dear you're doing it wrong because you're not gonna get this end screen software here direct on youtube so make sure you're posting your videos through the youtube desktop to get the end screen now what end screen basically mean is that you know teasing your audience teasing your viewers to get the use of you go back to the next video or clicking one or two videos again to watch after they finish watching your video that's why i say you have to make a value video so if your videos are not valuable enough they're not gonna watch to the end and that's where the end screen is and when they they don't get to the end they don't get to see your end screen when they don't get to see your end screen, you don't get to be able to pro, um, promote your other videos so if you've seen in that video let's just rewind and see you heard me saying that if you can go to this video to talk about uh, to see my watch hours and my reuse content that's also another way to promote your video and getting your watch hours straight so you can also promote your video while you are talking about a video in a whole total different sense all you have to do is link that particular video in the video you're currently doing and direct audience back to that side and then another thing as a bonus point is making sure that you are leaving your links for your previous videos in your description box my dear i cannot stress that enough the description box have almost five thousand words you're supposed to put in there why are you leaving it empty youtube didn't just leave it there so that you can sleep that place my dear they left it there so that you can promote your videos and your link and your seos and your uh, hashtags so make good use of it by posting your previous videos at the link and another way you can also get your watch hours straight is by posting your videos and then going to the comment section so you will be the first person to go to the comment section a video that you think is not doing you well you can just link that video there and direct your commenters to go to watch that video that's how i did to get this video to almost 30k views and is actually killing it and that 30k views gave me almost 10k views for this video by just linking those two videos together and then yeah so i hope this video was helpful and if it was 
make sure you hit the subscribe button comment what was helpful and anything that you think i miss and let me know if you want to have any comments again or any video that you want me to do in the future and i'll definitely get back to you i hope you get that your four thousand watch hours we are all getting paid this year hope to see you in my next video bye